Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve True. Please visit my blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com so that you're sure to get the latest posting, tips and tricks, and how to make awesome Excel dashboards. All right, uh, today I have a real cool trick or tip. Uh, it's related to data tables within Excel charts. So uh, what you'll find is a lot of people when making charts love to use data tables. However, they're pretty inflexible. So uh, people want to do different things with them. And this is one trick on how do we add a second line but not include it in the chart. So as you can see in my data that we have here, uh, what we have is we have sales for, from January through December. Then I have a calculation of the cumulative sales for the year. So 2000 in the first month, 1500 in the second month, cumulative of that is 3500. So uh, a user in the Mr. Excel forums wanted to know how can I add a second line for cumulative sales? However, this line gets pretty large. So it goes all the way up to 30,000. So makes your chart look a little strange or you have to add a second series uh, or a secondary axis. User didn't want to do any of that. So just wanted to show like let's say the company sales and then add it as a second line in the data data table. So let's show you how you go about doing that. So I've got the same data set up here. What you want to do is highlight your data. So in this case, I'm going to highlight the sales for January through December, and I'm also going to include the cumulative sales. I'm going to go up to my insert ribbon. I'm going to go to a line chart in this case. I'm going to go to a 2D line chart and click on OK. And let's move this up so you can see it a little bit clearer. Now, uh, you can see it's added the two different lines. It's got the one for sales, and then it's got the one for cumulative. Well, if I come in and delete this, that's not going to uh, work for me. Um, we'll show you how to fix that here in a second. But first, we need to add the data table. So to do that, you click on the chart. And you can either use a chart layout, like uh, you see here. This user was using chart layout 5 that puts the data table in there. Um, or you can also go up to your layout ribbon and you can choose data table and you can either do show data table or show data table with legend keys let's just show the data table since we don't need legend keys because we're only going to end up with one line at the end of this so you can now see we've added the data table down here i'm going to get rid of the legend on the right by clicking on it and hitting my delete key it gives us a little bit more room for the data uh, and let me expand that out so we can sort of see a lot of the data I'm going to click on the data table, go to my home ribbon, and then just shrink the font down one so that you can see all the numbers are now showing up in the 30,000 type range. Once they get past 10,000, uh, it's not going to cut off that last digit. Now, so what you can see is we've got cumulative sales and sales. What we want to do is we want to click on this line, the cumulative sales line, right click on it, and then let's do format data series. And then from here, what we want to do is we want to change the line color of this series to no line. And then click on OK or close. You can see that series is still there, and it's going to show up, therefore, as an additional line in our data table. Last thing we need to do, uh, we've pretty much done what we want to do, is uh, you can see this line here is only between 0 to 5,000. I need to right-click on my uh, vertical axis, then click on Format Axis. And then from here, I want to change the minimum to zero and the maximum to 5,000 instead of 35,000. Click on OK. And there you can see it. We've got one line. This is for sales. Uh, it's showing our sales, cumulative sales. Uh, it has all of our information in there in the data table, but it's only showing one line in the Excel graph uh, chart area. So it's just the one line. And that's how you can kind of fool it. You can do this for any number of series that you want to do. You could have uh, uh, something else, like uh, let's say you wanted another series in here to say difference from month of the previous year. You know, is it plus or minus? You can do lots of different things within Excel to kind of trick the data table. You can't format a lot of things within the Excel data table, but it's one little trick to show you how to add more lines without adding the data to the chart. All right, once again, this is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at excel-dashboardtemplates.com so that you're sure to get the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques. And make sure you sign up as a user on my YouTube channel. Thank you very much.